I just wanted to give you a brief tutorial on how to switch um, the audio that comes from the camera uh, and the audio with the audio that comes from the sound system. So I just want to do a brief tutorial as far as that's concerned in the vMix platform. So let's get right to it. All right, so we have on the screen here, I have, you notice I have uh, the two inputs here at the bottom. That's me, hello. And then of course, here's another uh, camera that goes straight to our pulpit area. Now, if I wanted to take this audio, you see it's very active here. If I want to take this audio and switch it. You see here it's very low audio to none, really. And if I want to take this audio and put it on this one, it's simple to do. Uh, I can either uh, recapture this. So let's try just the recapturing method. I can close this down, all right, then go into my uh, add input, then go to camera. From camera, then I'll go to the FaceTime because this is the camera that is built in this computer system uh, on this uh, computer. Uh, hit FaceTime there. Now here, this is where it's going to get dicey. Uh, this camera is built for this resolution, which is fine. Now if we go under the audio devices, you see where it's set here. I can scroll down. Now you'll have to determine where your audio is coming in, whether you're using Pinnacle Audio or wherever you're using at the time, but find which audio is best for you. Now I could use the built-in audio, which I don't want, but instead I'm going to use my microphone for USB uh, audio codecs. So I'm going to click that so you can choose which um, uh, audio setting you want, which source, audio source you want. So I'll click that and uh, then I'll go back here and then see now it's coming up on this channel. You see that, Isn't that wonderful? Let's go ahead and pull that up. Hello everybody, it's me again. So um, you see it's very hot there, it's very hot too. So what I want to do, see I can turn it on, now it's on. You see before it was blue, which means that the sound or the signal is there, but it is not broadcasting. So I go to uh, audio and now it is definitely broadcasting. So uh, this is one way and of course I can put that up there and switch it over to the output. Then everybody at home uh, will hear the, uh, the output that comes from this mic. Now when you do that, if you notice at the bottom uh, here, um, you notice that uh, this audio channel went blue and this one is green. Green meaning uh, that it's broadcasting currently. Now if I switch back to one by hitting my cut, you see it goes back and forth. Now the blue is gone for this mic and now I'm pulling signal from uh, going to the other one. All right, does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. All right, so that's one way you can do that. You can just recapture the camera and give it a different audio source. Now, there's another way to do this too, which I prefer. Uh, let me show you. So let's go ahead and just gonna, I'm gonna just um, close this and close that so I got to say goodbye. All right, so now I'm off camera. So here's what we can do. I can go and select my camera and uh, I'll go with the bottom one here. And I can go to my audio source and select none. I don't want any audio over this camera whatsoever. And click it and boom. All right, there's our pulpit area. Go back into my input and add my second camera. I can now hit FaceTime so you can see me and audio, hit none and boom. And we're gonna see, hey, uh, there I am again on the screen. Uh, and so hello everybody once again. Now, if we're watching this live, all you're hearing is nothing, but I'm using another audio source you know, to record this um, tutorial, so that's why you can still, still hear me now. But if you notice, there is nothing, no audio source whatsoever coming up, either here or here, and there's nothing over there. No audio source is selected. Now, I do that because I want the same audio source with all of the channels. So how do, how do we do that? I'm gonna go back to input, and now I'm going to go to audio input. You see that? Audio input, I click that. And now we're what, well, what device? All right, for me, I'm going back to my microphone for USB audio codecs. 
click that and boom. Now there is an audio source. So does it matter whether I go from this camera, all right, let's say it's output to here. I can go to that one, uh, go back, cut. The same audio source is there because the audio source is not dependent upon the specific channel. This audio source is moving by itself. It is the audio source for the entire production. So you can do that too. Now, when you do that, the last thing you want to do is go to the gear of that audio channel, go to the gear and go into audio settings. And here, delay. We want to delay this uh, 1 20th of a millisecond. Uh, and then you hit close. Now that's there. So what's going to happen? Well, we see that now the voice, if we were listening to this live, we would see that the voice is now matching up perfectly or is in sync with the video. Apart from that, if you would just do the audio channel uh, and the video channel, apart from that, uh, what you would have really, let me come back, yeah, what you would have is voice that would be out of sync with the other. So you have to go back and do it. If you do a separate audio channel, uh, you'll have to go back and add that uh, 1 20th of a second delay. Now, if you're doing it just through the, uh, just through the camera, just through the camera here, you probably won't need to do it. But if you're doing it through the separate audio source, you'll need to do it. All right. So again, advantages of having it this way, I can just go from video to video, putting whatever I want to up there. I can do whatever, and it's going to have the same audio source. Now, this audio, of course, is coming from uh, this microphone, uh, and which is, of com which is uh, going through our sound system here. So no big deal. Uh, whatever's coming through the sound system is going to be played over... Um, the live stream. So whatever comes out there is coming out here. And if that's what you need, then great. If you're doing a uh, production with several singers and, and everybody and you want to uh, bring them in differently, then you want to do things differently. But if this is working, then it's working. It works for me. I hope that it works for you. All right. Well, that's it. Um, hope that you got something out of that. Like, subscribe and share. Tell all your friends about it. And uh, if you really like this, let me know in the comment area below. And I will try to make more, possibly do some things with green screen, let you see how it does there, how it, um, how it acts. Oh, and yes, we can do this too. Um, we could also talk about some color correction. Let's see, where's my color correction? Oh, no, it's not there. Color correction is here. Yeah, right here. And let you see how to use this and uh, the vector, the vector scope and, um, how to do the waveform. I mean, it's all very interesting stuff, let me tell you. So I think we're going to stop right there, and um, that's going to be good for now. All right, see ya.